Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. You can find us online at marketingtwins.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to take your Twitter feed and add it to your web page. And you may have seen this on other uh, websites where you'll go to a particular feed. Um, for instance, I will pull up this one here. This is a um, blog site that you scroll down here, right in, right in this right hand side, it has the Twitter feed. And on this particular blog, you can go to it and see some of the recent tweets that have been done by this individual. So that's what we're going to accomplish in a little bit different format, but you get the idea. So what we're going to do is go back to Twitter, and from here, um, you're going to go, this is, you first log into your Twitter account. You go up here to settings, and under account, you have all these different tabs. You're going to select the account option, and down in the middle of it says more info URL. We, of course, have our Marketing Twins site listed there. This link here, you can also add Twitter to your site here, and this is what we want to click. So we're going to click that. Now I'll ask you where you want to put it. I'm going to select other because we use a WordPress uh, format. If you don't see what you're accustomed to using on your site, I would select the other. And then you hit continue. And it pulls it up in a couple of different formats. It shows you this HTML format or a flash widget. I'm going to select the flash widget and see if that'll work. I like the way it looks on my site, so or it looks on the page there. Let's see how it looks on my site. I'll click continue and then hit continue again. Okay, and all this does is it allows me to, it says to copy this code. So I'm going to copy that code and now that I've got the code copied over to my clipboard, I think I'm now going to go into my particular website, which is here. And in this case, this is just a WordPress site. So what I'm going to do is add this section here and put that in there. And then I'm going to put in here Twitter feed as my title. And this, again, is specific to a WordPress. And I'm going to save my changes, and now let's take a look and see what that looks like. And I'll refresh that, and let's see how that looks on my sidebar. It's down here at the very bottom of my site. Yeah, I have to scroll down. Okay, it's there. looks good. It is a little bit long, uh, a little bit wider. So I think what I can do is, for my case, is go back and check to see the width. I think we used 220. Yeah, these, there's two places it looks like it's one here, so I want to change that to 220. You may have to play around with your site to get it to the, the number you want it to be. Let's see if that made the change. I'll save the changes there. I'll go back and reload my screen and see if that took care of that. And to wait till all my stuff popped up. It looks like it did. It looks like it popped it up, and there it is. And that is simply how you make your Twitter feed go onto your website. You can see here all the various tweets that I've done. And anytime I do a tweet, it'll automatically update this uh, on my website. I don't have to go in and do that. Um, it'll automatically do it for me. So that's how you add your Twitter feed to your website.